Okay, for this next shake, we're going super green, super antioxidant. So we're going to go a few huge handfuls of some spinach, some columns of delicious sweet watermelon, apples, ginger, ginger, turmeric, gotta have the turmeric, banana, yum, some pea protein powder, and don't forget chia seeds. Now it's time for some blending action. We made it, chest day with the nephew. Your Belinda, 24 hour fitness, fresh today, feeling good. I haven't hit chest since last Wednesday. I'm gonna smash some weights, throw some weights around. For this workout, I always like to start on the arm bike, strictly because it gives me a good amount of blood flow to my shoulders, biceps, and triceps. Um, just a few sprint rounds of about 20 seconds or so. Lately, like the last six months, I've been opening up with decline chest press because I read a study had shown that the decline dumbbell chest press helped activate the pecs more than any other lift, uh, comparable to the bench press, I believe push-ups and some other movements. So opening up with um, a decline dumbbell chest press. <clears throat> and then um, I'm working out here with Noah and uh, his friend Jen, who was actually super duper strong, really good upper body strength. Um, then we're moving into some cable presses and some cable flies. Fly work, I always like to follow up after my decline dumbbell press to really help the blood flow and con full contraction in the midline of the pec. And making sure that your wrist positioning um, is in the proper place is, is also really important for this lift. And then we have some high-low flies. You can see he's getting some bend in the elbow and then extending through the pecs. And this is my nephew Noah, he's a super fit kid. Um, crush press, crush press. You guys have probably seen this one post on other Instagram pages, but a super good exercise. You're neutral gripping, pressing the dumbbells together, and then driving them to the roof, keeping them relatively low, trying to keep the uh, forearms vertical. And then I like to superset that right into, um, I like to stack that exercise right into a dumbbell press. And you can kind of see some of the chest striations here on, on Noah's chest, even when he's going through, kind of gets that middle and upper pec definition that most of you guys or dudes are looking for. And then you see Jen knocking out some, some 50 pound presses here, um, which is pretty strong for, for a young female. Um, classic tricep press downs, reverse tricep press downs. You guys have seen these on my last videos. And then I believe I yeah, have some bicep curls. So we're finishing up the workout with some arms and you got some Noah with, with the real good lighting, with the choice lighting on the triceps and then some rope uh, tricep press downs to uh, increase some range of motion and just help some activation there. Some drag curls, basically the, the cables are coming from behind you, dragging behind you and keep those elbows pinned by your sides and these are gonna obviously help increase uh, mass in your arms. And then we gotta figure out what the heck we're gonna eat. These are some soy, Chick -fil chicken fillets, tempeh bacon. So we're looking at what everything is strictly vegan, except I'm putting a little bit of chicken on mine with the tempeh bacon and the little, ch the little soy chicken fingers. Good setup, right? Sandwich galore. Breakfast, two eggs, some garlic, sour cream, vegan spread, avocado, Dave's bread. Chia seed complete. Oh, not chia seed, chia pudding complete. Okay, just finished my workout with the XD weight vest, the 40 pound weight vest, and that sucked. Did some pull ups, I did some sled pushes, some sled drags, uh, I did farmer carries with it and everything was super, super exhausting. You know the most exhausting part about wearing that freaking weight vest was when I was breathing heavy, um, it, it kind of constricts your diaphragm. So like your diaphragm and your ribs have to work harder to suck air in. And my back and like my, my abs and my rib area was really, really fatigued. So XD 40 pound weight vest made out of Kev, DuPont Kevlar good review solid that is exhausting i'm like uh i'm pooped time to go home get some food it's friday night tomorrow we got a special surprise for you for danny's birthday tomorrow we're gonna get some food in the morning at a vegan bistro 27 she's in her late 20s and we're also going 
two hours, salsa and bachata. Salsa is gonna be at one, bachata is at two, and then we're gonna see if we can get some archery in in Fullerton, and then we're going to McAllen's for Conway's birthday, so a big, long, awesome day tomorrow. Um, that's it, guys. Friday, Flex Friday, TGIF, life is good. Rough to be above TV, whoa. Oh, you hear that? Look whose birthday it is. Birthday today. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Danny. Um, we're going to Sage Bistro Vegan Cafe in Echo Park and then Salsa Bachata. We got a big uh, big day planned today, so I'm excited. Salsa, bachata, vegan food, alcohol, shooting bows and arrows, Robin Hood, Legolas. We are in Echo Park, coming up on sunset. So we just went to Sage Bistro Vegan Cafe in Echo Park. What do you think, babe? It was the most amazing experience of my life. Better than my first child, sorry, yeah. whoever you will be. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I mean, if you've given birth, <laughs> um, think about going to a place to eat and then that superseding giving birth. That's how good that was. Went to Blue Bottle Cafe, got some coffee. It's time to go dance. Okay guys, so I just took my very first espresso shot at the age of 27. Kyle hasn't done his yet. You, you know. can take it as a shot, like a shot shot? Yeah, it's an espresso shot. Oh, shit, like... Woo! Tart. Espresso shot. So we're on our way to 3rd Street. 3rd Street Dance Studio. On Saturdays at 1 and 2 p.m. At Saturdays 1 and 2 p.m. They hold salsa at 1, bachata at 2. Class starts in 30 minutes. Beep. Okay, salsa bachata is done. I have no rhythm. It's uh, confirmed. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be way better than that, uh, way better at uh, at that class than I than I was. Third Street dance on Third Street, La Cienega. Alright guys, that's it for this week's vlog. We got workouts, we got the XD weight vest review, we did some salsa, we did some bachata, we did some archery. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I will see you guys next time on Rough to Be Buff TV. Peace.